Hello, good morning. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the trading session we have is uh, Wednesday, 29th of August, 2018. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, Signals and Market. Uh, I've updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app by the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so Asian markets overnight lackluster, uh, certainly not following the US lead there. Uh, in terms of the euphoria post uh, the Mexico deal and trying to force Canada to, to come on board. Uh, Shanghai finishing is down. Uh, Nikkei finishing slightly higher, 0.15%. Uh, European session, certainly a slight gap higher, but the gap certainly has been eroded. Uh, the market's certainly closing that gap very quickly, especially on the FTSE 100. Now, we have uh, had a potential uh, extension in terms of the Brexit deadline now from October to November, from what I can see. Um, let's just correct that for yes so from october deadline for brexit brexit eu dropped october deadline for brexit see mid-november so again seems like compromise uh, again that certainly is risk positive but that certainly hasn't been interpreted interpreted thus far as a risk positive now uh u.s markets obviously are, are flying sky high okay um again it's very confusing right now in order to understand what the uh, real catalyst is in terms of the u.s markets we have Uncertainty regarding midterm elections, uh, Turkish lira certainly falling again today versus USDTRY. Emerging market concerns, Venezuela, as we already know, the hyperinflation there. Again, adding to emerging market pressures, markets certainly factoring all the bullish news. Is there anything else really left from that perspective? Again, good question. So we've got a lot of arguments there for and against. Okay, so... Um, for me, uh, I'm not a bull at this very moment. I mean, there's a lot of arguments that I can make, uh, obviously, uh, countering that the bullish move higher, which I will do in, in a US market video, but this is a European market video for now. In terms of the economic data points this morning, Germany, consumer confidence numbers coming in slightly weaker. Uh, consumer spending from France coming in lackluster and weaker as well, so certainly not, obviously, adding to the bullish scenario. Uh, in terms of the US markets, we're waiting for that GDP number, gross uh, domestic price index, GDPI number. Uh, obviously, um, we're waiting for personal consumption uh, as well. That number is going to be very important. Pending home sales will be interesting. But GDP, it's all about GDP today. Okay, in terms of the US, let's see if Mr. Trump's so-called recovery is, is actually gathering steam. Either way, that's the uh, status quo in terms of the uh, fundamentals. Technical picture, let's quickly give you an insight here. 60-minute chart has been stalling ever since around that 12.580. We do have that uh, 12.670 gap fill above. Okay, watch out above. And then you've got two unfilled gaps below. Now, the euro certainly has been rising up to 1.17. And again, that's going to be hurting exports. Bear that in mind. We still have Italian concerns ongoing uh, at present. So again, that certainly is keeping the European equities in check as well. So bear that in mind too. In terms of the French CAC, now weak numbers from French CAC. Ever since we closed gap fill, the market certainly has reversed on the French CAC there. 10-minute chart. Uh, again, finding potential support here at 5477. We've got resistance above at 5500. Uh, again, you've got the unfilled gap below at 5430. So watch out below. In terms of FTSE 100, certainly um, finding a weakness at the Fib 50% uh, retracement. We're still trading within that green candle, though. So bulls certainly in control. Uh, again, US markets was expected to tend to take us higher. That hasn't been the case. So just bear that in mind as well. Okay, we do still have this potential bull flag scenario here. Uh, again, certainly expecting a potential thrust higher. Uh, obviously, you're following US equities, potentially higher as well. So watch out above in terms of the FTSE. For now, it's failed. Double top resistance remains the key uh, level to watch at 7.635. We've got gap filled below at 7.577. And again, like I said, you've got resistance above at 7.635. So watch out there as well. Okay, so that's the scenario at present. Okay, in terms of Euro stocks, last but not least, uh, in terms of the Euro stocks, let's give you an insight here. Uh, we've got double top for now on the Euro stocks at around seven, uh, 3,462. Okay, you've got support below seen at uh, 3,435 and then gap fill seen at 3,427. So watch out there. Okay, so there, there are your levels for European indices. Uh, again, looking for a potential follow up in terms of the US equities thrust higher. Watch out there. S&P 500 on the daily chart certainly breaking out. And therefore, obviously, that should set the tone technically for European markets to certainly play catch up, especially in terms of the Dow. Let's bring the Dow for you. The Dow certainly looking to potentially close the gap at 26,200. Currently trading around the 26,000 level. Once that gap closes, it certainly is risk off from my perspective. OK, be sure to visit CFDs.com for your trading needs. Certainly take advantage of that bonus and download the latest trade signal app. Go buy now.